It begins. Oh my god, that's actually that's actually a cobweb on my camera running from the viewfinder to the lens. That only took two weeks. Anyway, ahoy hoy. That's great. Oh my god. Ahoy hoy, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to do dank memes from Site 19. Normally I don't do these until Tuesday, but it's been two weeks and we missed one two weeks ago. It was it would have been the like next video I was going to, no, not the next, but the next next video I was going to do. So I decided to go ahead and do this one is kind of a combined uh, compilation. I only ha I only picked out about ten, but I got a much longer list to choose from. So hopefully it's of a higher quality. We'll see, though. We'll see. Well-written, emotionally charged articles. This is brilliant, but I like this. Meta articles. I, uh, you know, I have not been, I'll say this. I've not been keeping up as much as I probably should be on the SCP Wiki's, like, current, The I should say the current meta of the SCP Wiki, like, what articles are and aren't, uh, <laughs> are and aren't popular right now but i have heard a lot of people talking about how meta articles are becoming like more and more the <laughs> the most popular things which is funny because it used to be people complaining about well-written emotionally charged articles being the thing like we don't want that we just want simple monsters now it's like simple now it's like stories aren't good enough we have to do stories about stories <laughs> uh hopefully the SCP Wiki does not disappear up its own ass, but no guarantees. My day be so fine, then boom, termination test. Why do they always do that? I don't understand it either. Just leave, leave SCP-682 alone. <laughs> oh my god, that is an ancient meme that I just did that even though this is a meme video, I bet most people watching it are too young to remember. When was Leave Britney Alone? Jesus, that was it was early 2000s, mid 2000s. I feel like it was before YouTube, but it might have been after YouTube. Oh, man. A long, long time ago. SCP-2000. XK into the world scenario. I'm sorry, Scenar... Scenar... Uo? Yeah. They added an extra U. But don't worry, the anomalies have more. There's NK, IK, LK, SK, RK, EK, FK, ZK, AK, UK. So there's the uh, North Korea. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to just, let's go through these really quick. North Korea, uh, South Korea, Marilyn Monroe. Uh, North Korea, South Korea, RK, no, EK, Eldritch Knight, FK, you know what that's going to be, ZK, um, no, AK, Alaska, UK, United Kingdom, WK, <laughs> uh, hmm, no, I don't know off the top of my head, DK, Donkey Kong, End of the World's. I feel like there really would be an NK class <laughs> scenario. What's what's North Korea up to now? <laughs> Dude in SCP-5000. You know what, though? I'll say this. I feel like the GOC should have been the one wielding the blanket trying to put out the fire. The SCP Foundation should have been the fire. You don't need the world in there, to be honest with you. Oh my god. You know, I've seen this so many times, and I'm a huge, huge fan of community. This is the first time I've noticed that in the upper left-hand corner there are stylized pastel pictures of, or I'm sorry, maybe paintings, I don't know, of uh, Abed and Troy. That's really awesome. Or that uh, looks like Chevy Chase's leg is in the fire? <laughs> that can't be good. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Offsite fans that won't shut up about a specific SCP from Containment Breach calling modern writers and onsite fans gatekeepers. The fans that are literally just asking them to become more familiar with SCPs and engage more with the community. Yeah. Problem is, is that when somebody gets, they get hyper focused on one SCP, they're like, I have to only talk about SCP 682 for the rest of my life. And of course, in a couple months, they forget all about it and don't even really, well, they don't forget all about it, but it becomes less, uh, intri it becomes less a part of their personality. Let me tell you something, new SCP fans, this isn't gatekeeping. <laughs> Picking an SCP you're a fan of and constantly talking about it isn't a personality. That's all I'm saying. Just become familiar with the whole community. Foundation antimimetics researchers be like, I am once again asking what this place is and why I'm here. That was that was a real bad Bernie Sanders. Let's see. I am once no, let's see. It's kind of higher, right? I am once again asking. Yeah, but rougher. High and rough. I am once again asking what this place is and why I'm here. I got the what the I got him good on the what this place is. Not great, but better. Yeah, I'll work on it. Foundation contains highly lethal entities or objects. And non-lethal. I don't understand. That's not what the purpose is. Also, Foundation. I'm just the guy with the fish head. I feel like this would have been funnier if it had been like, Good. Bad. I'm the guy with the fish head. <laughs> Fucking weird. Everyone else at the SCP Foundation re-research and contain thousands of dangerous anomalies. The anti-memetics division. The anomaly stole my weapon and wiped my memory of the theft. Except if it stole your weapon and wiped your memory of the theft, how do you know it stole your weapon? Just saying, Zal. What gives... <laughs> See how I want to respond to this one. What gives people feelings of power, money, status, the infographic show correcting you versus SCP? Yes, yeah, stop, stop that. That is not, no, no. Stop. Like, I did a video to correct it, and even I was feeling that was a little iffy. But people doing uh, victory laps based on what they managed to accomplish to get people to, like, correct things and be like, ha we have power! Stop that. No, you don't. And even if you do, it that's gauche. That's uh, just fucking have a little bit of class. If you win at something, just be like, all right, I won. I don't know. And even in then, is it a win? They wanted to be correct. They wanted to be correct from the beginning. They made some mistakes. They recognized those mistakes and they did it. This is more about their growth than it is about your power. Let me just say that. <sighs> oh, right. The Virgin Database needs to be censored. Boring document. God, are horror writers who want to cause destru destruction. Keter, 05 eyes only. The Chad story of your life. Everyone knows about it. Interesting tale. Can only be documented through a narrative format. Archon, discovered by a group of researchers. So, this goes back to an old uh, piece of advice I used to give people in writing, which is, don't use redaction as an excuse not to tell a story, which is what happens in a lot of very early SCP documents. Like redactions are used in the place of exciting or even interesting narrative. And not all articles have to have a narrative, like because this is flash fiction. It can just be throw it down three paragraphs if you're good and it's fine. But... <laughs> But more often than not, they're not good, and the redactions are used, as I said, as an excuse not to have uh, actual decent articles, which is the opposite of what they should be used for. Let's put it that way. And that's the last one, I think. Oh, boy. <laughs> it has been an interesting two and a half, almost three weeks, I think. I will say the next Dank Memes video will be out on a Tuesday again. Everything That schedule's not changing. This just happened to line up, and I wanted to make sure I got one of these out. So it'll be next week and then the next Tuesday. Yeah. So a week, not next Tuesday, but the next Tuesday after, we'll have another Dank Memes video. And thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please 
head on down, scroll a little bit, hit the subscribe button, and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level, like everybody here on the screen already has, including, and you see I was talking a little slower right then to try and see if I could get the, get the page up in time, and I did not get the page up in time, including <laughs> Dr. J Redacted at $100 a month, Sinjariki at $100 a month, and Morgan at $40 a month. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Tuesday.